Hi guys, Mary-Kate here, and today we are gonna talk about chakras. I know I had said that we were, I was gonna talk about Reiki next, but since I actually use my chakras uh, to draw in universal life force energy to do Reiki, I thought it would be helpful to have some context. So we do have chakras, if you didn't know that, and this is the first you're hearing of it, congratulations, you have chakras. We all have chakras. Uh, they are part of our subtle energy body that make up our aura and our chakra system. Uh, and so chakras are um, spitting wheels of energy that run up the base of our spine, and they're basically the junction point for everything that ever happens to us. It's where we process our physical, mental, and spiritual bodies. It all comes together here. And anything that's ever happened to you since the moment you were conceived until the moment you draw your last breath gets processed through one of these energy centers. And um, the point is, is that we want these energy centers balanced and in alignment so that the flow of universal life force energy can come down through the chakras as we draw earth energy up through the chakras and it creates a circuit that you want flowing and balanced through your body. Why do we want that? Because when the circuit of energy is balanced and flowing, we are our best selves. We are helping others. We're, we're learning our lessons and we're growing from them and we're fulfilling our life purpose. When a chakra becomes out of balance, deficient, excessive, because they can be deficient or excessive, we're no longer our best selves. We're, we're stuck and we can't do what we need to do. So we don't know, and we, we don't know I, what's going on. I don't know. I'm angry. I'm depressed. Um, I'm anxious. I don't know why. Um, or maybe you do know why. Something's happened to you, and it's actually bollocksing up, bollocksing, very technical term, bollocksing. Um, it's bollocksing up one of your energy centers. So let's just quickly go through them. You do have seven main chakras that uh, process everything in your body, and then you have some minor ones. I have in your hands and in your feet. So I actually use my hand chakras to do Reiki. I draw in universal life force energy through my crown. It goes uh, for a nice dose of unconditional love to my heart and out of my hands so that I can do Reiki. Um, so the other chakras that we use um, are, we use them all, <laughs> um, your root chakra, which is red and it's your physical body it's it's your being your soul is in this this vessel this car if you will that drives us through life and when it's threatened when your vehicle when your vessel is threatened either through illness or through something physical maybe um it, it can be your home your your the home that you live in that's your root chakra when one of those things is threatened um your root chakra is going to be out of balance and again it can be deficient or excessive so um, we want our root chakra balanced because it's the base, it's what connects us to earth and grounds us to earth. Sometimes when we begin um, these esoteric studies, we get really caught up in these upper chakras, the heart and above, because we really wanna be connected to all that is. And we can become a little spacey and lightheaded. We're not grounded. We're not, we're not focusing on our lower chakras. All the chakras are important. You need them all. Um, sometimes we focus so much on the crown. We want the crown open. I want my third eye open. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting off track. Um, so the, your root chakra is super important. It's what grounds you to earth. Uh, if you're feeling spacey or lightheaded, you need to do some work um, on your root chakra. Next is your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra, chakra is your uh, creativity and pleasure center. Its color is orange. And it is where you birth new ideas. It's when it's open and flowing, you're coming up with um, some creative, amazing ideas. You're also living a balanced life. You're, you're enjoying life. You're enjoying food, drink, sexuality in a healthy and balanced way. Um, if something is out of balance, deficient or excessive, you you can put your own spin on it in your head. Um, this is the, the, the energy center that's going to be out of balance. So we're not we're not birthing new ideas. We're kind of stuck. Um, we need to do some work on our sacral chakra then. Um, our next energy center, which is our solar plexus and it's right here um, in your solar plexus, hence the name and its color is orange and it is your personal power center and this is where when you're birthing that new idea this is where you're getting it done um it's the fire that burns um that 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 
gets that idea flowing. It's also the persona, who you are in the world, how you feel about yourself out in the world. When it's deficient, we are making excuses why this great idea that we had and we're telling everybody about um, never comes to fruition because our solar plexus chakra is out of alignment. So um, if you're associating with any of these things, you know that these are, um, and you're probably already are going, oh yeah, this one's out of balance, that one's out of balance, I am already seeing it. Um, and we can talk more specifically about um, traits of deficient and excessive uh, energy centers uh, in another video. So the next center is your um, heart chakra and its color is green. And this is your seat of unconditional love, compassion, empathy, um, forgiveness. When it's obviously uh, out of balance, you're finding it hard to forgive people. You're judgmental. Um, so if you're seeing that in your life, then you know that maybe your heart chakra needs a little bit of work. Uh, our next energy center is our throat chakra and its color is blue. And I'll talk to you a, a little bit about why the color matters. Um, so the throat chakra, when uh, it's our expression center, are we expressing our true selves in a loving and compassionate way? Are we um, shut down? Are we feeling tongue tied? Like we can't be our true selves. Uh, that's when this, you know, there's something you need to say to somebody. You don't know how to say it. This is the energy center that you want to focus on. And maybe your heart too, so that you can open that up and, and have that flow going so that whatever you need to say to this person or whomever can be said so that they can hear you. Sometimes we talk and people don't hear us because our throat chakra is excessive and we're shouting at them or we're talking at them and we're being judgmental and people then shut down and we can't, we're not expressing ourselves. We're not feeling like we're heard. Um, so our next energy center is our third eye and its color is purple. And this is our conscious choice maker. When we make a decision based on wisdom and love with clarity, our third eye is open and flowing. When we're making a fear-based decision, oh, I don't wanna leave my job, I need the money, I need, I need, you know, that 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 scarcity mentality, then our, our third eye is probably uh, deficient. So, is that happening to you in your life? Are you making clear, wise choices based on um, an open heart and wisdom? Or are you making fear-based choices? Um, and sometimes we feel we're forced into that. So that's, we're going to work on our third eye then um, so that we have our intuition. Our intuition is flowing and we know what to do. Um, and then we have our crown chakra and its color is ultraviolet or white. And it is what ties us to all that is. It ties us to God, universal life force energy, all of your spirit guides and your guardian angel and um, your higher self. It's wisdom. It's, are you connecting to that? Or are you, is it shut down? Are you, you have no relationship. Um, if that's the case, you're going to be feeling very depressed and very disconnected, disconnected from everything. Um, and you might be having a lot of headaches too. So that's a physical manifestation. So those in a nutshell, like literally this is like 101 <laughs> remedial chakra. But I just wanted to give you guys a sense that um, all of these things, when it's all open and flowing, then they're communicating to one another and they're sending the energy to the next chakra. When it's out of balance, the energy is swirling like that and it's or it's shut down and it's not moving to the next chakra and we want it to move we want it flowing up and down so that's um that's it in a nutshell i did want to share with you some books because you know i like to share um and the very first book i ever bought on this and it was it was um recommended to me by my reiki master when i learned reiki um, she said, you guys are going to need to do a little research on chakras because they are where you're going to be working for the most part when you do Reiki. So this was the book that she recommended, and it's Wheels of Life by Anna Dea Judith. Anna Dea Judith is um, probably the premier um, person on chakras. And she actually, I'm just reading back here. So she is, um, she has a doctoral degree in psychology. She is a yoga teacher and she's also an expert on chakras. She really does a lovely job. I've taken two webinar courses with her. Um, 
she really does a lovely job of tying in the psychology of the chakra. So if you're somebody who practices psychology, uh, you should definitely look into her books. This is one of them. This is really, um, it's, it's chock full of tons of information. It might be overwhelming for a 101-er a little bit, a little bit. Um, this one might be, which is also by her, um, breaks it down. And it's called Eastern Body, Western Mind. Um, it's, you can see I have it flagged and, um, she's amazing. I can't, I can't recommend her highly enough. If you're working with chakras, you should definitely be Googling her and seeing if you can take one of her online courses and read her books. Um, and then if you just happen to be at Barnes and Noble, I mean, you might find those at Barnes and Noble too. You can definitely get them on Amazon though. This is, this is really great. It's a great one-on-one -on -one book and it'll take you through, what each chakra does and when in different yoga positions and, and Anadeya does that too. Um, you know, the different crystals that you can use to balance your chakras, so many different ways to balance your chakras. Um, you can do it yourself, actually. Um, you br bring professionals like me in when you really just don't know what to do. And then I can come in and I can help you. That's, that's sort of what I do. Um, is, but the point is, is that you can work on your own chakras. It's about an attention and intention. When you know, just based on this video, just say, I know my heart chakra is probably deficient. I'm very angry at somebody. I cannot forgive them. Just place your hands on your heart chakra and set the intention into it to, to help clear that block, that anger. Um, and it's not going to happen maybe the first time you do it, but do it every day. And you'll notice over time that you're not as like angry at that person anymore. Um, and maybe you can find a way to forgive them or whatever it is. Um, so it's attention and intention, and you can do that. But when you get really like to a point where your symptoms are becoming physical and, and that can happen with the chakras, um, then you know that it's time to maybe see somebody who can really help you and, and help you in other ways with crystals or with Reiki or, um, and there's other, many other energy practices. I, I don't want to, you know, just act like those are the only two. So, but I did want to just give you a brief 101 on, um, on the chakras and we can certainly talk more about chakras and go into them and, and look at the deficient and excessive traits of each chakra, um, or anything you guys want to talk about. It would just be fun. I love talking chakras. Uh, so you can learn more about what I do at www.littlefloweressentialoilblends.com, how I came to be doing all of this and learning all of this really interesting stuff. Um, and also you can follow me on Facebook, Little Flower Essential Oil Blends, or on Instagram, Little Flower Blends. I hope you guys are having a great day and keep those chakras balanced.